Hello everyone. Today we today we will be working on board respawning and we will be adding a cool text which will look like our school. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so right now we have a game, our paddles new, our ball news as well, it bounces here and there. So today we will be polishing the movements for the ball as well as we'll be polishing the UI a bit. So yeah, let's do that. Basically the first thing what I've done is I've removed the box collider. So I've removed the box collider and I have added a circle collider to the looks right I guess. And then what you want to do is you want to drag your physics machine once upon here. Now the second thing you want to do is select the pad like this. And so by default it will be like this. So what you want to do is select this and may take it until here and make it so thin that if the ball is touching somewhere here, it's going to go out of screen. So that's what you want to do. Okay, same for this side. So I've done that. You can see right. So now First of all, we want the ball to wait every time it respawns to give all the players some time. So let's open our ball control. Okay. What we want to do is to create a I enumerator. Right. And name it pause. Add in brackets and we're going to add in this. So, what we want to do is we want to wait, right? So, we want to say yield return new wait for seconds. And we want it to be two. Right. So it's new. One. Two, three, 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 okay. It loaded it perfectly. Okay, so this is what you want to do. So this is the bait portion, right? And then the second thing you want to do is if you cut this from here okay, and paste it here basically after it waits you want to reset the velocity right so that's what we are doing and so now what we can do is in white chart say start start quarantine and some brackets and say pause and then brackets one second. The same go. Oh, so setting. Okay. So now that is not going to work. So it's going to wait for the start, but it's not going to wait after it respawns. So for that, you need to copy this. And so every time it respawns, you want to do this. And now what you can do is instead of checking it twice. You can simply say mathf dot abs adding a bracket here and bracket here. Now, okay, so I did a mistake. The bracket should be here. Okay, so what mathf dot abs does is it takes the absolute value and then checks if it's greater than 10 right so that's what we want so that does the thing and then it is going to wait and then because we have done this function it's going to start that again but now the wait should make some sense if before waiting we make the value zero 
So we want the zero or else the wing function is not of any use, right? So that's what we want to do. So it control us. Let's test that out. So let's come back in Unity and hit play. And so now it's going to wait for a few seconds and then it's start. It's going to start moving. So you see, waiting for two seconds. So now if I let it go out of the screen, it responds, waits for two seconds, and starts moving. So that's what we want, right? Now the second thing is, whenever it responds, I want it to go in some random direction. So let's work on that as well. Let's come back into our ball control and so basically for random directions we want to create a view but first basically what random is going to be so either this will be 3 or this will be minus 3 and this will be 3 or this will be minus 3 as well so for by default it will be 3 and so what we want to do is create a int direction x and is equal to random dot range and it will be minus one to two okay and what we want to do is because minus 22 there is zero as well in it so if you're keeping the zero then it's going to do something like that which we don't want so what we are going to be doing is first of all add in a semicolon and then so if direction x is equal to is equal to so if you're checking then you need to say is equal to is equal to if you're setting then you need to say is equal so is equal to is equal to zero then direction x okay direction x there seems to be some mistake, I don't know. Direction X is equal to 1. So if it's 0, it's going to set it to 1. And so we can copy this and paste it here and simply make this direction Y. And so we can also copy this, paste it here. Make sure this is aligned correctly and then you can make this direction y as well and this direction y as well yeah and so basically this is one so if it is one so if you multiply this with one it's going to be three if you multiply by minus one then it's going to be minus one right so that's what we want now why are we checking till q basically if load value can say something like 1.5 right so that is not larger than one so it's not going to go well at all because it's in 1.5 is going to be rounded out to 1.0 so that is why we are using q so what we want to do is multiply with direction Um, x and this we want to multiply with direction y so now we are going for random directions every time we respond right hit control s come back in and now i will be playing the game for a while to see if it's really making a random direction. Okay, starts with this. I'm gonna let it get out of the screen. Out of the screen. Okay, so it starts again with this. Okay, it 
goes again. Okay, so yeah, our random function is working. Yeah, it is working. It is pretty much working, so it's taking random directions. Right? Yeah, so it indeed takes all four directions for some randomization. So that's what we wanted. Now, we also decided to call you this code. So, Basically, last time we created these three text values, but then I thought, why to make three values if we can only make one, right? So basically, three values were going to help us. So battle A score will be synced with the battle A variable, and battle B score will be synced with the battle B, and then dash will be a different thing at at all. So um, that is what I was thinking, but we don't need this. Let's just name it school and change the text to zero dash zero and now we can set it to something. So let's do this and so something Red character is helpful. Yeah. And now, let's move this to the center. Where's the center? And so, let's set it into that. So, in game, it's going to look like this. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Now, basically, we also need to do some other stuff. So now our ball, if it's like bouncing on the barrel, it's just bouncing back, right? So if it's coming like this, it's going like that. Basically, if our ball is moving on the up, and if it's bouncing on the bell, then it should go up. And if our paddle is moving down, and if the ball is bouncing on our paddle, then it should go down. So that is what we will be working in the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss the new videos. And like this video if you really liked it. And share it with all of your friends who are interested in game development. And don't forget to comment down below what you think about this. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.